And hello everyone, Peter here once again with another video. I know it's been a while since I posted one of these, but life is weird. I don't really have a good excuse other than that. I've still been drawing, I've still been doing things. It's not like I've stopped drawing or anything awful like that. Um, I did go to Chicago and take some other trips and stuff. But um, anyways, here you can see I'm drawing a giant robot uh, wasp thing. Um, you can also probably gather from how this has started that I did skip a couple steps. Um, well, I didn't skip them, I just didn't record them. I'm actually drawing on tracing paper here. Um, below it is some other paper that I have uh, sketched some preliminary steps on. I didn't record it because I wasn't here in my room at my drawing desk, um, so I wasn't able to record it. I did these preliminary sketches in various other places um, when when the inspiration struck me you know riding in the car um, you know elsewhere waiting on people in the living room looking out the window out sitting at the water maybe um, sometimes you've just got to draw where you're at you know when you get the urge you can't take it for granted or force it you know all the time just when you can't just force yourself to draw when you're here sitting at your desk with the camera pointed at the paper. I hope you know what I mean. So I apologize for not recording the previous steps, but basically what I did was I, I looked at a picture of a wasp that I thought was particularly creepy. Um, I don't really like insects that much. And uh, I sketched out the basic shape of it and I decided that I wanted wanted to make it into like some sort of giant battle robot or something and uh, once I had sketched it out I took a piece of tracing paper and you can see I used some paper clips and I attached a piece of tracing paper over it and uh, I'm slowly turning it into a giant battle bot attacking some sort of city. Um, it is kind of violent I admit but you can create uh, feel free to create your own narrative of some sort behind this, of, of any sort. I was live streaming most of this, and all sorts of people were coming up with um, a wide variety of interesting narratives, you know, from uh, maybe this thing was uh, retaliating because this planet was harassing its planet, or maybe this city was just in, inhabited entirely by slugs, or maybe this is just a ghost town and no one lives here at all and it's just demolishing it so we can build something else here. Or maybe this is just a normal-sized ant bug thing and it's just a really tiny city. And nothing... I don't know. Someone came up with the name Cybug. Kind of like cyborg and bug put together. A portmanteau, if you will. Anyways, uh, this was a really fun one to draw. I haven't really used tracing paper before, but um, when I went to Chicago, I was reintroduced to Frank Lloyd Wright's work. I've, of course, I had heard of Frank Lloyd Wright before, but um, I saw some of his, you know, of course, he's a famous architect, or he was, um, but I was reintroduced to some of his um, drawings and other graphic design work, and I was really um, taken up by it and impressed by it. And I got some of his books and stuff. Um, he does. He has all these crazy designs on, uh, like all the windows he does in all of his houses, and even like rugs and murals he designed in various places. And um, I was really inspired by all of it. And and a lot of his um, uh, drawings and stuff. I noticed it always said he did it on tracing paper. And um, I'm not sure why. Probably some architect thing that he learned in architect school or something. Probably not at all the same way I'm doing it, but I ended up buying some tracing paper. And um, basically how I use the tracing paper is I use it, instead of just sketching on paper and then inking over it and erasing the pencil lines, I sketch on paper and then put tracing paper over it and just ink on the tracing paper and then I don't have to do any erasing. I just remove the sketch paper from underneath. It's just uh, a minor um, there's a word for it, just a, 
whatever. You get the idea. Anyways, so yeah, tracing paper is cool. And it makes, if you get the right kind of tracing paper, it nice, makes really nice crisp lines with these pens as well. Anyway, so it was fun drawing a little cityscape here um, along with the giant robot bug. Cityscapes are always really fun to draw. You can see here that I the cityscape is entirely composed. It's very simple, really. It's, it's entirely comprised of upside-down U-shapes. It's just a bunch of bumps of different sizes. Just a bunch of bumps all squished together and piled up. And then I push for the texture of the buildings. I just put a bunch of bunch of little you know lines and bumps and divots and stuff in them to give them skyscrapery. Mm you know, stuff to them. Anyways, so, anyways, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. I love all of you. Goodbye.